Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. There is no point in comparing Rafale with J10C as the latter stand no chance. However, Indian Air Force has just 36 Rafales. In advent of a full-scale war, the fighter jet that will be fielded against J10C is going to be Su-30 MKI. We all know that Indian Air Force is in process of procuring 12 additional Su-30 MKIs and awaiting approval from CCS. However, can Su-30 MKI compete against Pakistan Air Force's latest Chinese fighter jet? Let's try to find out. The Su-30 MKI was the beast of its time when acquired, but with increasing advancement done in electronic warfare, the fighter is lagging behind in three capabilities. First one is its radar. It features a PS radar which can be jammed easily because it can transmit signal of a given frequency at a time. Once it is detected, the new edge jammers can easily jam it. At the same time, an AAC radar can transmit multiple frequency. In fact, each of its TR module can generate signal at different frequency which makes its jamming very difficult. So the radar of Su-30 MKI can be jammed easily with latest jammers. Second drawback is its size and radar cross-section. Its airframe is constructed of titanium and high-strength aluminium alloys. Lack of composite in the airframe further increases its radar signature. The RCs of Su-30 MKIs can vary between 4 to 20 meters square, which is too huge and can be easily tracked by enemy radars. Third drawback is lack of missile approach warning system MAWS. This system actively looks for missile trail in the infrared spectrum. It uses infrared sensors to detect the hot exhaust from missile and are independent of guidance technology. Unlike radar warning receivers which only alert the fighter pilot when an aircraft is locked with radar guided missiles, MAWS will alert the pilot on the launch of IR guided missiles including man pads. Lack of MAWS makes Su-30 MKIs vulnerable to IR guided missiles and if they are flying low, they can be victims of even man pads. We have already seen how Russian fighters flying low became an easy snacks for Stinger missiles. Now if you look at J-10C, it is a 4th plus generation fighter which has been systematically and periodically upgraded by China. It features an AESA fire control radar. The airframe is made up of metal and some composite giving it an RCS of 1 meter square. In 2017, the first image was released of J-10C featuring IIR MAWS sensor S7 installed on the side of engine intake as well as at the tip of vertical fin. The fighter jet is powered by a single indigenous WS-10B turbofan engine. It was reported that the first batch of six J-10CEs serial number from 101 to 106 which was delivered to Pakistan on March 4, 2022 was armed with two PL-10E and four PL-15E air twin missiles. These features definitely make J-10C a decent 4th plus generation fighter. But can single engine Chinese fighter take on a heavyweight twin engine fighter jet like Su-30 MKI? The Su-30 MKI is much bigger in size with RCS almost 4 times that of J-10C. The same size gives Su-30 MKI a bigger advantage. Powered by two AL-31 FP engines, the fighter jet can generate enough power for its N011M BARS PSA radar. N011M has a 400 km search range and a maximum 200 km tracking range and 60 km in the rear hemisphere. The radar can track 15 air targets and engage 4 simultaneously. The Su-30 MKI can literally function as a mini AVOX as a director or command post for other aircraft. The target coordinates can be transferred automatically to at least four other aircrafts. Although a PS radar lacks the versatility of an AS radar, the BARS is still a hybrid PSA and functions like an ASA when it works in just one mode. The J-10C has an AESA active electronically scanned array radar with 1200 
transmitter and receiver modules. Though the range of its detection is not specified, but it will be much less than that of Su-30 MKI. The J10C features 145 km range PL-15E beyond visual range air to air missile. It is important to note this is the export variant of PL-15 missile which has been confirmed by many Chinese media as well. The longest range missile that Su-30 MKI can fire is Astra Mark 1 which has a range of 110 km. Clearly, J10C seems to have an advantage of slightly higher range with its PL-15E missile. Pakistan Air Force had even better advantage during Operation Swift Retort. On 27th Feb 2019, two Su-30 MKIs of No. 15 Squadron with call sign Avenger were guarding Indian installations and engaged with eight F-16 MLUs as they approached India. Evidence shows that Pakistan Air Force launched more than four AIM-120C against Sukhois during this engagement and all of them were dodged successfully by Su-30 MKIs. The Indian fighter jets were equipped with short-range R-27 or R-77 air-to-air missile with a range between 25 to 30 km. Even with numerical superiority and much better BVR missile, F-16s were unable to bring down a single Su-30 MKIs. The Pakistan Air Force F-16B, piloted by squadron leader Hussain Siddiqui, fired a volley of AIM-120 C-5 BVR AAMs at Su-30 MKI with call sign Avenger-1 when it was over 60 km away. Su-30 MKI was able to dodge the AIM-120 C missiles with effective deployment of chaff and flares along with ELL-8222 airborne self-protection jammer, coupled with aggressive maneuvers. Besides Israeli jammers, Su-30 MKI can also use even more powerful Russian jammers such as SAP-518 and SAP-14. Su-30 equipped with SAP-14 and two SAP-518 pods is famously called Drawlerski due to its immense electronic countermeasure capability. The only missile that Su-30 MKI should be worried about is PL-10, which is a short-range infrared homing air to missile. This missile launch cannot be tracked by Su-30 MKI because it does not have missile approach warning system. Though PL-10 has a short range of just 20 km, it could be lethal in within visual range combat. If there is one upgrade to prioritize for Su-30 MKI, it should be missile approach warning system. The Su-30 MKI has a range of 3000 km with just internal fuel which ensures 3.75 hours of combat mission, whereas J10C has combat range of 1,240 km with internal fuel tank less than half of what Su-30 MKI has. J10C does not have standoff weapons as potent as the one carried by Su-30 MKIs. Su-30 MKIs can fire from most missiles from a long standoff distance for which Pakistan has no answer and we have seen that in recent times. In future, nearby cruise missile will also be integrated with the fighter. J10C is not capable of delivering any weapon like Brahmos or Nirbhay. Su-30 MKIs can also carry 32 SAW smart anti-air field weapons which can be used to destroy strategic military assets from very long range standoff distance of more than 100 km. While J10C is much capable and features advanced platforms, still it cannot match Su-30 MKIs which form the backbone of Indian Air Force. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.